Good evening. Welcome to the Daily Office and thanks for joining me. This is Night Prayer for Sunday, October the 4th. It's the 19th week after, or 19th Sunday after Pentecost and week 7 in the Psalm cycle. And the scripture for this service, Psalm 23, Acts chapter 12, verse 1 to 17, and Isaiah verse 12, verses 2 through 6. Please join me in singing the third verse of Psalm 95 to the tune of Pure and Obese. Now come and worship and bow down and kneel before our Maker. For you're our God and we your flock, the people of your pasture. Our help is in the name of God Most High, the Maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Together, O merciful God, we have sinned through our own fault, in our thoughts and words and deeds, and in what we have failed to do. We have not loved you with our whole hearts. We have not loved our neighbor as ourselves. We beseech you, overlook our faults and cast our sins behind your back, that we may serve you and praise you all the days of our lives. Amen. And may Almighty and merciful God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and the comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all the eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia, you are my shepherd, I shall not walk. Alleluia. Psalm 23. And please recite it with me. Alleluia. You are my shepherd. I shall not want. You make me to lie down in green pastures, and you lead me beside the still waters. You restore my soul. You lead me in the paths of righteousness for your name's sake. And though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and staff comfort me. You prepare a table before me. In the presence of my enemies, you anoint my head with oil. My cup runs over. And surely goodness and mercy will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in your house forever. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia, you are my shepherd, I shall not want. Alleluia. A lesson from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 12, beginning at verse 1. About that time, King Herod laid violent hands upon some who belonged to the church. He had James, the brother of John, killed with the sword, after he saw that it pleased the Jews, he proceeded to arrest Peter also, and this was during the festival of the unleavened bread. And when he had seized Peter, he put him in prison and handed him over to four squads of soldiers to guard him, intending to bring him out to the people after the Passover. And while Peter was kept in prison, the church prayed fervently to God for him. The very night before Herod was going to bring him out, Peter, bound with two chains, was sleeping between two soldiers, while guards in front of the door were keeping watch over the prison. And suddenly an angel of the Lord appeared, and a light shone in the cell. And he tapped Peter on the side and woke him, saying, Get up quickly. The chains fell off his wrists. The angel said to him, Fasten your belt and put on your sandals. And he did so, and then he said, Wrap your cloak around you and follow me. Peter went out and followed him, but he did not realize that what was happening with the angel's help was real. He thought he was seeing a vision. After they had passed the first and the second guard, they came before the iron gate leading into the city, 
and it opened for them of its own accord. They went outside and walked along a lane, when suddenly the angel left him. And then Peter came to himself and said, Now I am sure that the Lord has sent his angel and rescued me from the hands of Herod and from all that the Jewish people were expecting. As soon as he realized this, he went to the house of Mary, the mother of John, whose other name was Mark, where many had gathered and were praying. And when he knocked at the outer gate, a maid named Rhoda came to answer. And on recognizing Peter's voice, she was so overjoyed that instead of opening the gate, she ran in and announced that Peter was standing at the gate. And they said to her, you are out of your mind, but she insisted that it was so. They said, it is his angel. Meanwhile, Peter continued knocking, and when they opened the gate, they saw him and were amazed. He motioned to them with his hand to be silent, and described to them how the Lord had brought him out of the prison. And he added, Tell this to James and to the believers. Then he left and he went to another place. Here ends the lesson. Into your hands I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O God of truth. Keep us as the apple of your eye. Hide us under the shadow of your wings. Together. Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. And let's say the canticle together. Alleluia! Behold, God is my salvation. I will trust and not be afraid. For you are my strength and my song. You have become my salvation. And so it is with joy I draw water from the wells of salvation. And in that day I shall say, praise the Most High, call upon God's name, declare God's deeds among the people, proclaim that God's name is exalted. Sing to the Most High, for God has done glorious things. This is known in all the earth. Cry out and shout, you inhabitants of Zion, for great is the Holy One of Israel, who dwells among us. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now, as and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Bless Jesus, my soul, and may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all now and forever. Amen. Alleluia.